For this project, we will be making paper bag cowhides. We will need a paper bag or any kind of butcher paper you have laying around, a water bottle, napkins, a bowl or cup, co instant coffee, scissors, pencil, spoon. Once you already gathered all your materials, we're going to put the ones we're not going to use right now side and you're going to need one tablespoon of instant coffee mine's already in my bowl and you're going to add a little bit of water to your bowl and take your spoon and stir it and then once it's thoroughly mixed we're going to set it aside because we're going to be using it later on now you can go ahead and take your paper bag and scissors and begin cutting along the sides of your bag cutting all the way down and when you get to the bottom you're going to cut along the bottom end all the way around Keep cutting until the bottom is removed and then you can go ahead and cut it in half so you can have two even pieces. Once you've cut it, make sure to cut off any handles or things that may be hanging off the side of your paper and flatten it out some more. You can now go ahead and get your pencil and begin tracing the shape of your cowhide. You can create your own at this time, or you can also go online and find a reference image that you want to copy, and you can draw it on your cowhide very lightly. Once you have already drawn it, you can go ahead and start cutting all around your cowhide. All the way around, cut, cut, cut. Also, any scraps or trash that you may create during this time, remember to throw it away or move it to the side so it doesn't cause any disruptions or create obstacles for you while you're making your cowhide. So keep cutting all the way. And when you're done, like I said, throw away all the trash. You can now go ahead and get your coffee solution and your napkin. Okay. So taking your napkin, you're going to dip it into the coffee. Make sure it's really, really soaked. And then we're going to squeeze out any remaining liquid just to get it damp enough. Then we can take the napkin and start rubbing it on the surface. If you need more liquid, you can go ahead and get more. Rub it all over your brown paper. In every single part, okay. Make sure to leave any blank areas that you wanna leave untouched because this will give your paper some texture and also create different gradients of tones. It will also give it a leather finished look when we go on to the crumpling se session. Once it's done, you can go ahead and get a marker. This is optional, you don't have to do it, but you can go ahead and add your brand to your cowhide. Animals were usually branded during that era in case they got lost or stolen, people knew who the owner was and they could easily take the animal back and they could be claimed. So we're gonna go ahead and add our branding. Mine is my initials, so DN. You can add either letters or you can also make a symbol. 
So there are my initials. Now you're going to take the paper, once it's fully dry, you're going to crumple it up all the way. And then we will uncrumple the paper. So uncrumple it, flatten it out, and it has added a few more wrinkles, which gives it texture and makes it look a little bit more realistic. Here is the finished cowhide. Enjoy!